as of right now, and uh, the sun is setting at 3.30. So very limited daylight hours, um, but Iceland has done a great job of, of promoting themselves and really inviting in a lot of tourists. So it is, you're, we're kind of right on the brink of um, year-round tourism here in Iceland. So there's a couple of good things and a couple of um, things we have to be more flexible with in terms of that. Uh, the great thing is that we can get really up close and personal to a lot of these sites that we're going to be seeing. They don't have a lot of barriers, they don't have a lot of um, places that are, are gated off for us. So we really get right up there. Um, it's going to be much different than say in North America where we're very regulated as to where we can go and what we can do. Um, that may change here sometimes in the near future as there's waves and waves of more people coming to visit. Um, leaving that carbon footprint and really being a part of nature is, is something that they have been considering um, and really kind of thinking what they can do. But for right now, we can get right up, up front and personal with all the places that we are going. The downside of that is that because there are no barriers and there's no things keeping us from going places, a lot of the times um, paths and trails are not as well maintained um, and can be very dangerous to be hiking around. Um, you won't find a lot of guardrails or things like that in places that we're going. So in certain places, I will be very particular about telling you what to be aware of. And I just want to throw this out there um, that I am not trying to talk down to people and I'm not assuming that we don't have any common sense. It's just that I know these places and you don't and I would rather be more careful than not than have to deal with the consequences afterwards. So bear with me. Um, I do know that we have all gotten here in life by making good choices, but um, I do know these areas, so if I, if I start warning you about something or encouraging you to do or not to do certain things, it's because I know what those trails are like and how difficult it can be, so um, I ask you just be patient with me.